Okay, so uh, I want to talk about this reality show situation with uh, the January 6th committee. Uh, this is the House committee investigation that is investigating Donald Trump's involvement in January 6th. Uh, the worst, most traumatic event in American history since Pearl Harbor. Uh, so uh, they have a star witness. Her name's Cassidy Hutchinson. And we're going to play a clip here. She's claiming some pretty outrageous stuff. But again, you got to understand, this is very, this whole January 6th committee thing, I'm not, I haven't really been watching it. You know, I'm not very up to date on, 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 on this situation, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, like most Americans, nobody really gives a shit about this. But, you know, there are, there are moments, there are moments when the mask comes off and uh, it's revealed how far, you know, the, I guess you could say the, the deep state cabal will go to just demonize uh, their opponents or even people who aren't really their opponents, but are just sort of, sort of rogue elements in their system of, of the, the great reset here. Um, because, you know, Donald Trump really isn't that far off, far off from the agenda that they want to bring about here in this country. In some ways he is, but in other ways he's, he's really not. I mean, Operation Warp Speed, give me a break. So, um, but they're putting people forth, uh, obviously still, you know, in the media and, and here in this January 6th committee to try to demonize him. They want to make it so, uh, uh, maybe, you know, it's a long shot. He's charged with some form of insurrection or, or, or something like that. Uh, so that it, um, maybe not so far as disqualifies him from running for president in 2024, but discredits his, his, his candidacy if he decides to run in 2024, which I don't think he should. I think uh, DeSantis should run it. I think DeSantis is just way better of an option. I think most people agree at, that, at this point. But anyway, I, that wouldn't stop Trump from trying to run uh, because he doesn't care, right? So he's just, uh, he, he's all about, you know, his legacy. So, um, and that's a strength and a weakness, uh, I would say. But anyway, um, they're putting forth these crisis actors like this woman right here, uh, Cassidy Hutchinson, to make up stories. This is a total hoax. I, I have no doubt. Uh, there is no question in my mind what she's saying is literally scripted. Uh, it's not a misremembering. It's not a, a, a false hearsay that she actually heard. It is a script being handed to her by... Um, enemies of the country uh, and, and, you know, the Democrats and um, uh, et cetera, like whatever you want to call it, right? I don't know. The apparatus, the apparatus of control, uh, globalists um, in this country. So th this is fake, right? Everyone knows it. I think it's pretty obvious, but I just want to show you this because it's, uh, it's a mask off moment. It's one of those things that's kind of like, well, here it is, another piece of evidence. Uh, that uh, they're, they're just throwing hoaxes at us at this point. This is, you know, it was like the whole Russia investigation, com a complete hoax, you know. Uh, the, the, the collusion with, with Donald Trump and Putin and Donald Trump and Russia and, and all of this. Remember P-Gate? You remember um, um, all, of these, all of these things that, that came out of the Russian um, collusion investigation revealed to be a total hoax at this point and the media pushed it like it was uh, a real situation like a real crisis like the worst thing since um like watergate or something i don't know so now we have this so let's let's read this and then we're going to sh show a little video over a little testimony here the star witness of the democrat-led january 6th select committee testified tuesday that former president trump angrily tried to take control of his presidential limo during the January 6th protest, leading to a cascade of mockery online and by Trump himself. What she goes on to say here, like, I'll, I'll read it, but I mean, what she goes on to say is that he, like, jumped and, like, tried to grab the limo driver and grab the steering wheel. It was like, take me to the White House. No, take me to the, the Capitol, right? Because he... During the whole situation with January 6th when, it, uh, when well, you know, rest, rest in peace Ash, Ashley Babbitt got shot, really the only people that got hurt were Trump supporters. It wasn't anybody in Congress that got hurt. That is all fake. Um, so uh, yeah, while this was all going on at the Capitol building on January 6th, they, they're, they're saying that Trump was trying to get there, trying to force the Secret Service to drive him there. Um, and that's the hoax right here. Um, 
it's just so outlandish. You know, it's something out of a cartoon. You try to, ju- I mean, just you'll, you'll see. Okay, <laughs> it goes on here. In her hearsay testimony provided to the committee, Cassidy Hutchinson, a former aide to then Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, claimed that she was told by Deputy Chief of Staff for Operations Tony Ornato that Trump became angry when informed he would not be heading to the Capitol building following his speech at the Ellipse. I took, uh, she goes on to say, I looked at Tony and he said, did you effing hear what happened in the beast? The Beast, by the way, guys, um, just so you know, The Beast is the name of the limo that drove around Donald Trump while he was president. Um, Isn't that an apt name? Isn't that an apt name for a uh, vehicle that drives around the president? Mm, Yeah, it's just, I don't know, something about that, huh? Don't don't you guys think? Don't you guys think? Anyways, um, Hutchinson said... Uh, quote, he proceeded to tell me that when the president got into the beast, he was under the impression from Mr. Meadows that the off the record movement to the Capitol was still possible or likely to happen and that Bobby had more information. Cassidy Hutchinson testifies that she was told uh, that as then President Donald Trump was being driven back to the White House after January after the January 6th rally that he demanded to be taken to the Capitol and tried to grab the steering wheel from a Secret Service agent. The president had a very, very strong response to that. Tony described him as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president. Take me to the Capitol now. The president reached up toward the front of the vehicle to grab the steering wheel, she continued. Mr. Angle grabbed his arm and said, Sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going back to the Capitol. <laughs> Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge toward the Secret Service a- agent Bobby Angle. Trump rebuked Hutchinson's testimony on Truth Social, saying, quote, such a ridiculous thing wouldn't have been possible. Her fake story that I tried to grab the steering wheel of the uh, White House limousine in order to steer uh, toward the Capitol is uh, sick and fraudulent, very much like the unselected committee itself. Wouldn't even have been possible to do such a ridiculous thing, said Trump. Um, So, again, this is a contrived narrative right this isn't what you're seeing here it's just such an obvious soap opera setup situation like just okay we're gonna watch her testimony here this is a crisis actor this is fake once the president had gotten into the vehicle with bobby he thought that they were going up to the capitol and when bobby had relayed to him we're not we don't have the assets to do it it's not secure we're going back to the west wing the president had very strong, a very angry response to that. Um, Tony described him as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. You know what the funny thing about this is? It actually has this like similar lighting to a soap opera like Days of Our Lives or something. And she kind of looks like an actress that would be like in that show. <laughs> and the way she talks and her facial expressions, it's like these real it's like really bad acting. It's almost like at any moment she could look at the camera and just like say to everybody, None of this is real. This is fake. And it would just like be so like poetically fitting. Um it's just kind of funny. I mean, look at it. It's like the lighting is on point and everything. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. So, yeah, what she's saying is that Trump tried to, like, lunge from the back of the limo to the front, grabbing 
the Secret Service agent in the steering wheel, take me back to the effing capital. I'm the effing president, damn it. You know, it's something out of, uh, you know, like a cartoon, right? It's not, it's just not real, right? So, so this is what you have going on. It's really kind of funny, too. Um, if you look at a lot of, like, like, first of all, the beast, quote unquote, actually has like a barricade. Like this limo has a barricade between the front and the back, and this wouldn't be possible anyway. Um, so, you know, this is – it's just so obviously not true. Um, moving on here in the article, uh, if that wasn't enough, the lead Secret Service agent and Trump's presidential limo SUV driver are reportedly ready to testify against Hutch- Hutchinson's claims that – He reached for the steering wheel to turn back to the Capitol. So you can see here, this is a source close to the Secret Service tells NBC, apparently, which you can't trust them either, but uh, I don't know, um, that both Bobby Engel, the lead agent, and the presidential limousine driver are prepared to testify under oath that neither man was assaulted and that Mr. Trump never lunged for the steering wheel. It does make me wonder, you know, why they put up people like her, uh, in this in this soap opera type January 6th committee. Um, and I think I know what the answer is here. What this is all about has nothing to do with actually uh, conducting a real investigation and, and try, or even trying to legally uh, attack Donald Trump. Um, it has nothing to do with that. It actually is just a propaganda soap opera campaign. That's all it is, in my opinion. I don't think there really is a stark intention here of bringing forth any real charges or real convictions against Donald Trump in relation to January 6th um, because there's nothing there. But uh, there is an opportunity, um, and the media knows this, the Democratic Party knows this, the DNC, all of these types um, know uh, that there is an opportunity to use this as a propaganda campaign to demonize Trump. They put fake actresses... Um, of course, I know she's probably more than just an actress. Like, she really is an aide. I, I believe that and all that. But I think, you know, they just said to her, hey, look, you know, make up this story. We'll, you know, give you a sweetheart deal uh, two years down the down the road. Maybe, you know, a book deal. Um, you can get hired, uh, you know, a, a sweetheart job under like a DNC representative or something or, or can- presidential candidate, uh, you know, perhaps. And you know, the, the, this will boost your career, etc. And all you got to do is, you know, uh, read from the script um, and go up there and uh, testify this fake testimony. Um, I don't think anyone's going to charge her with perjury because, of course, she's testifying against literally Hitler. Um, so, you know, I don't think anybody would care even if it was revealed that she's straight up lying. So, you know, th- this is uh, this is what uh, I think that is, and it's all this um, attempt to get people talking about it. People like like me, I'm kind of falling for it, but I'm trying to show it from a perspective of, of like this is a psyop, right? And and so, um, you know, you have a lot of the GOP types talking about it. There's no such thing as bad press, and even with because because nobody's paying attention to the January 6th committee, nobody. So CNN can't get people to talk about it. Um, you know, the, uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times are failing miserably at getting people to talk about this. So what they're doing is they're putting up these just uh, cartoon level cockamamie testimonies to get people saying like, well, this is outrageous. Oh, oh what? Yeah, right. Wait, wait a minute. Could this be tried? No, yeah, no, no, no. You know, it's like, it gets the conversation going. It's, it's a pretty good attempt. You know, it's, a, it's an old trick. It's an old trick. It's called a PSYOP, okay? So that's my opinion, my two cents, two cents on it. PR campaign, that's all. It's just a PR ca- campaign, you know? I mean, I call it a PSYOP. I guess that's just a uh, – it really is kind of just a um, – almost like a hyperbole way of, of, call, of really just a PR ca- campaign, you know, a political PR stunt, you know, right? whatever. So that being said, let me know what you think about this. Do you think Trump just broke open the barrier uh, from behind the limousine to the front, grabbed the Secret Service agent by the throat and grabbed the steering wheel and said, let's go. We're going to the Capitol. I'm the president, damn it. Urgh. We gotta, we gotta go save America. You know, we're gonna take it back.
Mm, or do you think this is a psyop? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't yet become a Patreon member as well, uh, I'm going to start uh, You know, probably my next live show. Actually, by the way, this is worth saying. Uh, yeah, obviously. So I'm, I'm going to be interviewing Ramsey Paul. I don't know if you guys know him. He has a YouTube channel. Around the same size of mine, a little bigger. Um, uh, yeah, on Saturday, Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be uh, you know, doing a little uh, chit-chat discussion interview um, type type deal uh, here on the channel. So um, check that out uh, and uh, share, sh- share the content, obviously, and stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if we're going to take questions. Bes- I think we're going to do just super chat check questions or questions from the chat. Uh, but, uh, you know, my next sort of uh, live show, though, I am going to be- start doing questions where people can sort of call in with the link. I had a few people ask me uh, about that. Um, so that's coming soon. Um, let me know what you think though. And, and uh, also, <laughs> also, also subscribe and bit shoot and odyssey and rumble because, um, this channel, who knows what's going to happen, right? Uh, on YouTube, you know, every now and then I get like a warning or a strike and it's just getting kind of, you know, it always has been this way, but that being said, it's been press. Keep your head up, stay real and no fear.